What's up everybody, it's June 30th, 2016 and it's time for today's episode of Level Up, our daily video game news show where we bring you the latest and greatest stories from within the industry. And following on from yesterday's free announcement of the Games with Gold, we now know about the PlayStation Plus lineup. Yes, your free games for July have been announced by Sony and we're going to be getting, as normal, six different games across their three platforms. On the PlayStation 4, we'll be getting Fury and Saints Row, Get Out of Hell. And then over on the PS3, we'll be getting Fat Princess and The Call of Juarez, Bound in Blood. And not forgetting the Little Vida, they will be getting Orishika, Tainted Bloodlines, and Prince of Persia, Revelation. Sorry, Prince of Persia, Revelation. So, once again, a pretty solid month from Sony. I, I personally would say I'm, I'm happy to see the Prince of Persia game on the Vita. I think that was a pretty solid game. It's always nice for people to remember that series because it was uh, it's kind of had its day now, I don't think it'll be coming back, but you should check that out on the Vita. And obviously, Fury looks like a pretty good game on the PS4, and also Saints, Saints Row, the, the Gout of Hell was the DLC for Saints Row 4. Uh, I'm not sure it wasn't received that well, I think it went a little bit too crazy, but they're free, make sure you go download, check those all out. They will be available from next Tuesday when they do the PSN update, so one last chance to grab those June games as well if you haven't done so as of yet. Another game that has been long, long rumoured and has finally been confirmed now, the Bioshock Remastered Collection is coming to PS4, Xbox One and PC. We've seen this game all over the place. It was leaked on their website. It was leaked on ratings boards. It was leaked on, I think it was a South African retailer at one point. Finally, it's been confirmed. Really happy to see it's coming, as you can tell. Big Bioshock fan. So this set will be a full price game, £50, and it will include Bioshock, Bioshock 2 and Bioshock Infinite and it will be coming on September the 16th. It will include all of the DLC released for those games but one thing it's not going to include is it's not going to include the multiplayer for Bioshock 2 but at the end of the day I don't think anyone really cares about the multiplayer. It's all about the single player experiences in all three of these games. Really excited to go back and play these. Bioshock is hands down one of the best first person shooters of all time. If you haven't played it before, this is a great collection to pick up. Infinite's not one I actually ever completed, so really excited. Coming out in September, in the middle, just before the big kind of October-November release window, so good timing for them. Look forward to that coming in the coming months. One thing that will not be coming quite so soon, unfortunately, though, is the Fallout 4 mods on the PlayStation 4. Yes, we've been long, long waiting these mods ever since they announced that mods would be coming to the console version for the game that released back in November last year. Uh, they were supposed to release, and unfortunately, following um, a beta that they've been having on these mods, they've now been delayed indefinitely, and we don't actually have an exact explanation why. They've just said, we, we regret to say that the PS4 mod beta for the Fallout has been delayed. We'll update everyone when we can. So obviously they've come across some problems with these. It's, just, it's disappointing, but hopefully the PS4 will get them at some point. And in the meantime, though, you do have all the DLC for you to go and check out. Uh, and if you really are a mods player, you've probably already got it on the PC anyway. But as soon as we know when they're going to be releasing, we will update you and we will let you know. On a brighter side, does anyone here remember Road Rash? the incredibly fun racer slash beat em up on the motorbikes that came out way back in the day. I played it over on the Mega Drive. Well, you'll be happy to know that a spiritual successor to this game is coming. It's been confirmed. Dark Seas Interactive, they have announced Road Redemption. And it, it, they have very much said it's a spiritual successor to Road Rash. It will be coming to PC, Mac and Linux on October the 15th. PS4 and Xbox One versions will be coming for the game, but a little bit later they'll be coming January 15th, 2017. So this follows the game that was successfully kickstarted way back in 2013. Uh, and the game was due out actually a couple of years ago, but it's been delayed. Uh, basically the idea was for them to try and make it better on the back of the Kickstarter success. You'll know, see in the trailer here, it's going to include, I've seen as well, you're going to have the Shovel Knight from PS4 in there as well. There's other kind of fun characters, so... Really excited to check this game out. I was a huge fan of Road, Road Rash back in the day. And if this game's even half as fun as I remember those games being, then I will be a very, very happy gamer. Closing out the news, I'm leaving it to the end because I feel like we've talked about this item to death now, but we've got some more information on the PlayStation 4 Neo. 
We talked just a couple of days ago how it could be releasing as early as this year. There was uh, some reports coming out from, uh, they were reported by the guys at Eurogamer. They had various sources. We now have heard a similar thing from some analysts of the industry. Uh, the guys at Macquarie Securities, uh, they're one of the game analysts. They told the Wall Street Journal that they expect to see not only the PlayStation 4 Neo, but also a slimmed down version of the PS4. So a very similar approach to what Microsoft and Xbox have come out with. And they expect us to see it actually during TGS in September. So Tokyo Game Show, that would be quite a good place for them, obviously, in their homeland of Japan. Obviously, TGS is a big deal over there. Whether or not that actually means that they'll release day and date with that, probably not. But that could be when we first see them. Who knows when exactly these consoles are coming out, but you'd be an idiot to think that they're not very, very close now. We, we already knew Neo is coming. Sony have confirmed it. The slimmed down PS4, though, that's new news. Although probably not that surprising, but the PS4 itself is already quite a quite a tight console, so it'd be interesting to see how much smaller they can make that. But it would be consistent with every other console generation in history when we had the PSX and then the PS Mini PS1, PlayStation 2 got slimmed down, and the PS3 obviously had lots of different iterations. So to see it on the PS4 probably wouldn't be a huge surprise. But that's it for today's news. Thank you very much for tuning in and watching everyone. Don't forget, let me know down below. What do you think? Are you excited for the Neo when and if it comes? More importantly though, how excited are you for the Bioshock collection and also Road Redemption? Both fantastic looking games. Let me know your opinions down below. I will respond to you. But for now, thank you very much for watching everyone and I will see you all next time.